Patriots playing the best ball in their division with the man named Brady. Tom Brady, the missing Brady Bunch. In my life, don't tell me Tom Brady is going to beat Brian Greasy in a matchup of Michigan quarterbacks at mile high. Well, maybe he will. Yow to David Patton, the two that hooked up so well last week. 30 yards, 10 nothing. Key men. Then a reverse to Pat. You know he can run. You know he can pass. What's he going to do? Have we ever seen more reverse passes in this league than we have the last few weeks? Except Eric Brown said, I saw it too, and he made the pick, Tom. So later in the second in the 10-10 game, Greasy picked off by Teddy Bruschi. But he, before he could fire it out a couple of Bruschis, he fumbles. And Greasy falls on it, but Brian Cox pulls it away. Patriots fall. Why? Well, you're not going to win a tussle with Brian Cox for the football. I thought Greasy did a great job of trying to track it down. Brian Cox gets in there late. He hasn't lost many fumbles to quarterbacks in this league. Brady, play fake. Oh, so smooth to Troy Brown. And Dan Band of renown. 17-10. Peeman. The Broncos, Al Wilson in Brady's face. And Brady's right back after him, Tommy. The friend sportsman. Meanwhile, <laughs> Greasy to Rod Smith and Smith could go all the way. 65 yards. It's a 20 to 17 Patriots lead. Later in the third, Greasy. Ball. It's 35 yard pickup. He actually jumped over him to avoid touching him, though. Greasy says, okay, play action, Dwayne Carswell. 24-20, Denver. John Gass Mobley trying to get the fans all fired up. Brady for Pater, but Denard Walker is there to pick it off. First interception Brady suffered in 163 attempts. But you know, with the smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Second and 12, down by four. Uh-oh, picked off by Walker. Gone! 39 yards. And on the sideline, two pleasures have look for a mile high. I know we won here last year, but the time before that that we won was 1968. Denver finally gets back after two game losing. Yeah, I think an important win for the Denver Broncos, not because it was in the conference, it obviously wasn't in the division, but at home in Mile High, they had to reestablish some dominance in that stadium. So they're four and three, the Patriots three and four runs, six for 159.